Welcome, and welcome, we welcome. We're back. Are back. Free back Jazz by Podcast. Podcast. Man, man. It's the Free Jazz Podcast, ladies and gentlemen. We are here. Back. We never left. Listen, we got K Single across the room. I got Jit G's here. That's me, if y'all don't know. You know what I'm saying? AKA as or whatever. We um, here. Listen, man, we here. It's been a we took a little hiatus. I know we've been uh we, we missed like a little week or something, you know what I mean? Right. It's all good. Listen, listen I was we... a little under the weather. My son K Sink goes on a run for a little minute. He had to handle a couple more. It's warrants. okay, it's you know okay. What I'm saying? I, but we here I, now. I, I, I handle life. <laughs> you feel me? Pretty game, pretty game. <laughs> listen, man, I mean we, we we missed that week, but let me tell you, uh, 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 it's been a lot of eventful shit. Oh my god. Okay, a it's lot. been a lot of eventful shit. <laughs> I just, I realized it was so so much going on. You don't even realize in two weeks we found out Meek Mill might allegedly not be gay or be gay. We don't know what's going on no more. What we do know is Meek been at the fucking freak off. It's been a lot of shit going on. Apparently, Boeing Jet got some shit going oh, on. You yeah, was telling me yeah, about yeah. Ye's going back and forth with Yes Jules. We haven't heard of Yes Jules since 2015. And, what the fuck? And he ain't going back and forth with Kaisenat. Kanye's beef with Kaisenat. You ain't see that? Kaisenat's a fucking legend, bro. You ain't see that? This thing is a fucking he trailblazer, bro. How yo, is he doing this, bro? Yo, so what happened? My son was, do nothing but have sleepovers with his grown ass friends. Yeah. And, and get rich off that. Yeah. That's fucking wild. And and, and all the joints, too. Oh yeah, order Jones too. But it'd be, it be twelve niggas in that basement. You I can only imagine what that shit smell like. Um, like that's a nasty, that's nasty work. You ain't here with with, with Ye and, and Kai, so nah. apparently, um, uh, that's ridiculous. Ye Kai said, West should never be addressing Kai tonight. He, he uh, apparently he sent him some merch or whatever, and Kai, you know, on his stream, he tried it on and it was too big or whatever. So he said something. And Kanye was not having it. The fact that he's the Kanye was not having it. And I mean, it, yeah, you can't criticize. Yeah, see bro. that, and that's my thing. That's my thing. You can't be too big for criticism. No, but you can though when no. you're Kanye, bro. He's see, Jesus. that's my point. No, that's my see? point. No, my no, point is he's no. bigger than that. So no, no, no. Like, like, he felt so he would. No, I know. But he really felt some type of way. Like he was of going back he and did. forth with him. His, his manager was was going in on Kai, right. and Kai's like, "Yo, relax." Like. And that's the thing, like you, you, you think you're the greatest thing in the world, but you can't take criticism, nah. and that's why you think you're the greatest thing in the world, because you yeah. think everything you do is wonderful and amazing. Because it is, and nobody, and nobody can criticize Yo, you. Yo, bro, Kanye is a fucking demon. Son. <laughs> like I didn't know. So did, I know you heard uh, like when he, they did a Super Bowl commercial. I didn't even catch the Super Bowl commercial because I remember I was working halfway through the Super Bowl. But I don't know. Did you see the Kanye West song Super Bowl commercial? But it was it was like the simplest thing. Apparently, it was like a white screen or something, and it just like said yay, and then like a, a small print it said everything's twenty dollars buy now. Yo, they sold yeah. $30 million in that hour. I saw that. I saw that. $30 million. That. They sold every product for $20. You're talking about things that a tank top is $300, $400. Yo, people went crazy. I saw that. I did see that. They flooded that shit. I did see but that. But I think also part of the commercial, he like he did some quick flex. It was like, this commercial cost $7.5 million. Yeah, I thought it, <laughs> like, it was. I, gotta, I actually did. Like I said, I didn't get to watch it, but I've been hearing all about this shit but, for a month now. And I've been hearing how crazy that, that one but, drop went. But yeah, you know, he was talking crazy to Kanye. I'm like, yo, bro, Kanye. Kanye it's Kanye. That's my, yo. He gonna this, do this that. He's a 20-year-old, 20-year-old kid, bro. Man, fuck that. 20-year-old kid. Man, you that. Re- nah. He's too influential. You, gonna, if you try to stunt on my shit now, and you the most it's influential. Doesn't that, it it doesn't really- matter. I should be able to say whatever I want. If I don't like it, and he wasn't even saying he doesn't like it. It yeah. just didn't fit right. Uh, okay. You feel me? It's not like he was he wasn't even talking crazy. Mm-hmm. But even if he was, you yeah, feel me? He was, yeah. I you, mean, you should though. you should be able to have your own opinion about something. You feel me? Nah, we're- people can't have their own opinion, and that's the problem. I feel like um, you know, Kanye's greatness is sometimes his biggest downfall. You feel me? He yeah. thinks he can't be touched. Mm-hmm. And if anything has anybody to say, they're wrong. You feel me? They're, they're wrong for their opinion. Yeah. Nobody can have an opinion about a negative opinion about him. That's how he feels. Yeah. And I feel like he's he's surrounding himself with people who also feel that way. Yeah, but I mean that's that that's that level of delusion. Sometimes you need to go get them billions and go all the number one albums and go do all that shit. Like you gotta be <laughs> delusional. I, I, I just you said gotta that. be fucking that, delusional. I, I just said that. that that's you gotta that. surround I, yourself with delusion. <laughs> <laughs> but like, um, but yeah, no, it's just it's, it's just very sensitive, bro. You need you, how you you how old is he? Like forty? Almost forty? Almost. Yeah, he's like damn near fifty. Yeah, he's old, gang. Okay, you, yeah, I'm old. bugging. I'm bugging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I'm bugging. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, by absolutely. the time late registration, I mean, uh, by the time oh. um, he he was already like 21, album. 22. No, by the time Kaz Jabba came out, I'm pretty sure he was like 26. I'm okay. pretty sure. Yeah, but I'm, but what, was a late bro, what I'm saying, nah, he was talking. He was talking crazy. Nah, we're but, nah uh, listen, I gotta find out how old is Kanye because this is gonna bother me. How I know he's like I'm. I'm going 45. I'm, I'm going. I'm going 47. 46. 
Ah, right in the middle. middle. Okay. You on deck? Ah, <laughs> you on my nah, body? You ah. said he was barely forty. You said barely forty. Like, ah, I nah, know that nigga's old. Nah, nah, you, nah, you know but how you're right. that nigga's old? You're right. You're right. You, you know, know how that right. nigga's old? Because the game is old as fuck. And yes, I just googled that yesterday. The game is old. As like, fuck. Man, I was like, nah, the game barely touching forty now. That nigga forty four. I'm like, when the <laughs> fuck did that happen? You feel me? But I don't forget. He's like, you twenty six. No, he said you thirty six. So you still rapping? Uh, I'm twenty six, nigga. So is the dub. So is nigga. That was two thousand and six, gang. That was almost twenty years ago. It hit me like, oh shit, my son old. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, it's just about you know some once you, it's yeah, like I said, Kanye just can't take criticism. Yeah, and then, he, th- is, he, he takes everything as, as a personal attack. When it comes to art, man, people take that shit real, real personal. And people come at your art, and you know, it's, no, being uh, Kanye, it's Kanye. So but, what do you expect? You feel me? It's Kanye. <laughs> so I expect him to act like an adult, but but that but that's too, that's, that's me expecting too much. Yeah, that's what I say. That's me expecting too much. You're asking for a lot. You're asking for <laughs> but, a lot. But um, I did see uh the whole thing with yesterday. Was, yeah, that know, shit is ridiculous. The, uh, a, a pair, um, apparent, uh, apparently, like she she did something about the NDA. I didn't really see the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, he's trying to sue her for eight million dollars for this, it's for violating their non disclosure agreement. I don't know what it's about. What I do know is when the fuck did Yes Jules become relevant again? I don't know. Like shout out to her though, cause she, I, she had a little yeah, she had a little she run. Had, and I remember she, I don't know if she's from Jersey, but she used to show Jersey a lot of love. She used shout to out show, to 070 she was, Shake. She was like about she was about to say she was 070 Shake. I don't yeah, know if shout, she's from Jersey either. Shout out to 070 Shake, but um yeah, she from North, Shorty, I believe she's from like North Bergen. A lot of remember growing up, a lot of she's like around eight, so a lot of people I we knew know her personally, yeah. and like she was like booming, coming up crazy, and she still uh, she has a lot of her fingerprint, a lot of the music in the last like eight years. For her, like she was, a, she was heavy featured on the last Beyonce album that she did for the Lion King. Um, oh seven was all through that. She does a lot of uh, writing and like uh, producing for for oh, people that you dope. don't even realize. You know, nah, nah, that's how you know, that's like that. and that's how it be. There, there's more than one way to thrive in this type of industry. Yeah, man, I always say that too. Like shout out to all the artists that people that shine blood. But hey, there's a whole there's a whole larger percentage of artists that you don't even know about that are on that are under the fucking that are un, like that nobody knows about and they're the most talented. They just for some reason. And they shine better writing and producing for other artists as opposed to for themselves. You Being know? in the spot, yes, yes, yes. Right. So they're, they're better at writing for others. Or oh, and a lot of them, they're a lot richer than these artists. Oh, so much more no, richer no, no. than these artists. Almost all of like, them. Like yo, listen, Partisan Fontaine the boy six G wagons for his brother. Okay, <laughs> I haven't heard a Partisan Fontaine song ever, but that nigga apparently is an amazing writer. They, they That's got, what he do. They got their fingerprints That's on, on Megan everything. Megan Thee Stallion's uh, ex boyfriend. If y'all don't know who I'm talking about, yeah. shout out to Partisan Fontaine because yeah. I don't know if he's. From, I think he's from Brooklyn, but he be in Jersey because I see that nigga at the dealership uh, on everybody Instagram buying cars. That's all that nigga do is buy cars. He just bought his mom some crazy, ass, some nice ass Benz. So shout but, out to him. But nah, um, you know. T- there's a whole there's a whole lot that goes into it that people don't even see you don't have to be the person in the spotlight no for sure like like the dream he's one of the most legendary when it comes to that shit like if y'all know the dream uh, the, the the dream is the that guy. He wrote Umbrella for Rihanna. He had wrote um he had wrote to the left to the left for uh, Beyonce. He he's a fucking dog in his own right. And I'm talking about dude from Falsetto for that. I don't know. Yeah, the generation but, might so, be listening. Might not know who I'm talking about. But the dream is that guy. And, 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 and he had a kid by Nunu, if I'm not mistaken. This ain't Lauren London's baby. Yeah, no, 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 not Lauren London. No, not Lauren London. Yes, 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 yes. I yes, used yes, to get both of them like yes, always confused. Christina Million, Lauren London. Same generation, same era. Those are my crushes growing up. Oh man. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't too in love with either one of them. Them, but they was both fire, and, and, and that's why Nick Cannon's a goat. Nick Cannon's a goat. He had both, <laughs> bro. Nick Cannon said everybody. Yeah, but what um, am I talking about? Where? You, you know what you talking about? Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about, about Nick. This but, Nick we talking about. But um, but um, no, 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 man. There's there's more than one ways to um, you know, to be successful in in that type of industry. Um, you don't always have to be the figurehead, and and yeah. a lot of times the figurehead is, is well, all the times the figurehead, well. 95% of the time, the figurehead is the one that's not really making the money. So. I don't know, because they don't got no writing credits. They're just the, that's why when you just hear, a, like, they're, you hear they're, like the Grammys and stuff, they're, they give them the Grammy for best performing artist. Yeah. It's not but, best artist overall. Yes, you're, yeah, you're, perf- you're a performer. You're yeah, a performer. you're a performer. Like, it's, just, it's, 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 just, it's the same thing as an actor, you feel me? They'll, yeah. they'll, you know, they'll, they'll yeah. give you the script to... The script to to, right. to say in front of the screen. Yeah, but they're you know still gonna I mean? give an award for best director. They're gonna be there's gonna be an award for 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 best screenwriter. All that good shit. Um, I mean, and, yeah. and if and if you get a, a a Grammy as as an artist, then then everyone who has writing credits and stuff gets Grammy. Everybody, get everybody, a everybody. You get a Grammy. You get a Grammy. You get a Grammy. You get a Grammy. Get a Grammy. It's, it's just like it's just like the Super Bowl. The Cowboy gets a ring. Everybody gets a ring. Nah, the well, trainers get a ring. It's yeah. the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same thing. But there are levels though. There's different uh, well, rings. Well, for every position. well, I mean, of course. But I'm just yeah. saying, everybody who's attributed to the team success. Nah, word. I remember when when um Cleveland won that uh that NBA championship with LeBron. LeBron. 
paid to make sure every single person in that facility that is associated with the Cleveland Cavaliers got some kind of money. Anybody who has Literally. it. Anybody? You could have been working the valet, the parking attendant. You could have been the concession stand worker. Every single motherfucker with an attachment to them Cleveland Cavaliers got a ring because of LeBron James. Shout out to LeBron James. You know what I'm saying? LeBron James. <laughs> LeBron James. But um, in other news, man, oh. you was telling me about this Boeing jet oh, shit. Boeing. I want to hear what, oh, what's bro, up with Boeing. Bro, bro, bro. Yo, Boeing is out of pocket. Please tell me it's something racist. I love when no, big companies no, do racist no, no, shit. No, 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 oh, no, 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 I thought it was going to be a money grab. No, no, no. They're, at, they're out of pocket. So. What they did. Bro. So, did you, um, John Barnett was is a former 32-year employee at Boeing. Okay. And he he retired in 2017. Um. I think his he was he was a manager of quality control or whatever, mm-hmm. and ever since he retired, he's been trying to fight Boeing on a lot of things because of regulations and restrictions, and uh, they failed a lot of audits. Yeah, it was cutting corners and shit. Cutting corners is bro. Cutting corners is crazy. You ain't here to sto- yo. I don't listen. like that. Don't be he cutting went, corners listen. on my airplane. He went okay. Let's All right, do it. Let's, l- listen to this. Listen to this. This ain't a Buick nigga. So he was there for a, uh, a deposition. Uh-huh. He was there for a deposition. What was going on against Boeing's attorneys and everything? And his attorney, right? And his attorney saying he's the greatest witness I've ever had. He was accounting certain dates from way back without looking through the paperwork and everything. You talking about John Barnett? Yes, John the Barnett. Boeing, the, the Boeing. You might want to relax. The, you might want to relax. Dead? Is he dead? <laughs> let, is this let, gonna end with Let me finish. Okay, God damn it, yo, John let me finish. Okay, so, <laughs> I see where so, this is going. So, at yo, at, yo, he had the the the, the Boeing attorneys flustered, okay. and he was supposed to take off and leave after that. They wanted him to come in the next day for the, to extend the deposition. Mm-hmm. He died that night in the parking lot. How the fuck? How, you hey, see? You listen, see how I seen that coming? Listen, listen, what the listen, fuck? listen. I was they said thirty seconds ahead. His of His hand by was the way. still on the trigger. Whose hand was on the trigger? John Barnett's. They said it was a suicide. Somebody close to him said he was making. He said, "If anything happens to me, I didn't kill myself. If anything happens to me, I didn't kill myself." <laughs> Whoa. They they failed so many audits, so many regulations. Um, so I, I did a little bit of, so I was like, yo, what's going on with Boeing? And like, when did they went wrong? So I did a little bit of Yeah, you might want to stop too, gang. I don't know. <laughs> uh, um, I'll make your clear, claims now. Like. Uh, allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> no. but, um, <laughs> Cause listen, but, um, they're clearly not playing. So apparently, uh, Boeing got big with, you know how, you know how a lot of companies get big is by, um, uh, making a conglomerate, buying all the competition and stuff. Yeah. So what they, that's how they ended up becoming a household name. Right. So what they started doing, they got new management and what they want, what does management want to do? Make more money. So right. in order to do that, they instead of actually um, making making stuff here, they would make it overseas. Ah, so and then way to cut some corners. So I shot. So they, they would make it overseas, and uh-huh. then they would only assemble it here in America. Mm. And in that, there was a lot of disconnect with how things were supposed to be done and everything. And, and Barnett's been saying this for since he's been working there, and ever oh, since man. he retired, he's been fighting Boeing. And then there was one Boeing. Um, one Boeing engineer who was working on a plane, um, and they found out uh, that that they scheduled him to be to to to, to be flying on that plane. He, he scheduled another plane. He said, "I'm not flying on that plane." They know. They know the engineers and stuff. That the workers they know. A lot of them were silenced. That's nasty work. And That's and nasty in the last work. in the last two weeks, there's been there's been a a good amount of Boeing Boeing planes that had to uh, emergency land. Wow. Yo, I'm telling you, I'm tail fins coming off. Like, what? Yo, bro. bro I'm, Let me listen, get on a I'm, fucking plane and I see a piece of metal fly off, listen, bro. Listen, listen, listen. When I tell you I, I will go AWOL in this I bitch. To, hey, yo, as soon as all this happened, I had to make sure film about my flight for next next month is an Airbus. So that's all good. And, <laughs> oh, and, that's and, and company. I, I thought and Airbus I sold all my uh, my Boeing shares. So if anybody, Airbus, Airbus, is, that's, that's great stock. Great stock is rising. I, I see. I ain't Airbus know that. You, 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 you thinking 10 steps ahead. I'm, Air, I'm, <laughs> I'm telling you, Airbus is rising. So um, I had to sell, sell my Boeing stocks. But yeah, so RIP John Barnett, um, that with the whistleblower they're calling him. It's funny how they call it a whistleblower. Was he it's, white? Yeah. God damn it. So he's the actually, yeah. But, um, the, he's the, but he told close family and friends, if anything happens to me, I did not kill myself. And the attorney, his attorney was like, he died with his hand on the trigger. Hand on the trigger. His attorney said he, it didn't see, he seemed, seemed like he had a new lease on life. Uh, yo, th- this whole trial put put energy in him. There's no reason. I, there's no reason. I thought he would yo, kill himself, bro. That's so, some real movie shit. Yeah, you, it I'm was surprised. the man. I'm surprised. It's you didn't hear about that. It was, it was the, the man. man. <laughs> Cause what the yeah. fuck? He wasn't even. He was supposed to. His, his deposition was supposed to end that day. He was supposed to drive that. It was in South Carolina. He's supposed to drive down to like Kentucky or whatever or something like. Mm-hmm. He was supposed to leave the area, but they wanted him back for the next day. He didn't even make it the next day. 
Yeah, yo, bro. Bro, and listen, whoever y'all <laughs> hitman is, respectfully, yo. y'all got it. Yo. What? Nah, Wait. we getting that shit done today. Listen, li- yo. Fuck that. I'm going today. to the rap. Yo, listen to listen. Tonight. They're, they're that nigga like, won't see the morning. Like, um, uh, they were like, uh, excuse me, can you make, can you stay for another day? <laughs> we got <laughs> we got it's not, I'm not I'm not I'm not making a joke the fact the man is dead but like it's like it's, no, it's no, very no, I am making a joke because that's fucking crazy because you should have on the trigger leave them motherfuckers alone son nah, this shit is the real Illuminati nah, he's son a, he's a hero he's Air a hero plants? all this shit gotta be exposed it, yeah exactly that's my point it's not a car all it gotta be exposed yeah, it all yeah, has to come out to that's the thing though that's Air what I'm saying it. it's already bad enough <laughs> if there's a mistake made on your vehicle cause you can kill somebody if something going wrong with the airplane, you're killing about hundreds of somebody's. That's what I'm saying. Like, and potentially even more, whoever's on but, the ground, if the shit falls into a, 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 a if it's not in, over the water or some shit, but, you know what I mean? Like, but, um, damn. They, they really started seeing their transition of them actually making stuff here to them actually just assembling stuff here. They shipped it overseas to be made, only assembled, cutting corners, you know? Yeah, that's Probably crazy. I just, I, just, I, just met, I just met the homie. I, it was a client of mine. And he walked in here. And he was apparently he was building engine, building jet engines, and he was telling me like, "Yeah, this is what I do." I'm like, "How?" Because he was mad young, and I'm like, "He looked like a street dude for the real, to be true." Like, he just Spanish motherfucker braids and tatted the fuck up. I'm like, "You do what?" I'm like, "You build plane engines." I'm like, "I don't know how I feel about you building my plane engines." I'm like, "You went to school for that?" He's like, "Nah, they just trained me for three months." I'm like, "How does that work?" <laughs> I'm like, "What do you mean they only trained you for three months? And you building jet engines?" He's like, "Nah, we build the models that get we send them overseas to get built, and then blah blah blah." They're assembled across the street. That's what I'm saying. That's just crazy. That's yeah, exactly this was like last week. See literally. what I'm saying? They, they, it, it used to be made here, but mm. now, and, and and in that process, a lot a lot of stuff gets lost in translation. A lot of regulations over there might be different. Damn, but John. Um, I hate it had to be you, John. Yeah, gotta be. You know, money grab. It's all it's, it's all about the bottom line. Who cares about safety? Who cares about? But see, that's trifling though. Like, don't work for 32 years, get retired, go get your pension, and then come back and try to double back and allow you no, whistleblowing. No, like, yo, uh, yo, yo, no. Yo, yo. But apparently, while he was working, Shit was apparently while he was working, he, he he was he was going back and forth a lot. Bowen felt disrespected. Like, yo, you think we about to give you a pension? He was probably making well into six figures. He's oh, probably yeah, making he's, at least two hundred thousand. <laughs> <laughs> in retirement, they're like this nigga crazy. A, a lot of it's a cheaper lo- to kill you. Watch what we do with this fifty uh, but, grand. But a lot, a lot of the, um, a lot of the the cries and stuff that he was saying while he was working, that it was falling over, over on deaf ears. So it's not like he, you know, this is anything new. But ever since twenty seventeen, that's been his goal and been his mission. You feel me? Mm. That's been his goal and been his mission. And and his family, his attorney said it looks like he has a new lease on life. He would never like his parents said. I mean. His close relative said, uh, "Yeah, if anything happened to me, I, I I did not kill myself." And that that night, he passed away. So R.I.P. John Barnett. He's a hero. Damn. Anybody who, who anybody who who stands up and get for what's right. Nah, word. My son tried to die martyr. I respect it. Um, I respect it, but he's I, tripping. Absolutely, he's nah, tripping. Nah, see, he's not tripping. <laughs> he's tripping. <laughs> he's he stood tripping. on business. He could have kept that business. shit on Twitter. He went to court. He fried. He's fried. Nah, he no, just, it has a to be on tweets. Ha- no, no tweets. It has to be a definitive. couple tweets. No, because it's we'll easy. Get the point across. No, no. <laughs> it has to be. You have to hit these people in their pockets. Where nah, the you... only thing, the only language they speak is money. That's the only language they speak. Tweets is whatever. They, they, you know how they You're have a lying. PR firm. You know me? P- spending millions of dollars a year on PR, PR firm that can handle that. All the only language they speak is money. You're not that's lying. the only. That's the only language they'll ever. If you start taking away their money or threaten that, now you get their attention. Yeah. Now, now you get their attention. G shit. Real talk. G-shit. You feel me? All that tweeting is not gonna do nothing. You ain't gonna do shit. You, you're a senile employee who's who's sixty or seventy. You're a boomer now. And nobody. That gloss is over. You know. You have to. They said he was. He was record, He remembered real dates that happened 15, 20 years ago. Real, real instances. He didn't even have to look back at anything. He was prepared for this. Nah, he was, he was he, dead prepared for he this. He was snitching and snitching good. He was. <laughs> he was telling him very well. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah like your son got to go. But yeah, um, so it, so now this is you no. Know, so yeah, literally, you, yo, you can type in Boeing, bro. There's a lot of reports of grounded planes, emergency landings in the past two weeks. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he, oh, he said the seven fifty seven. You know what the seven fifty seven Boeing is? Yeah, yeah, that's like the biggest, like that's like ah, the most fam- famous one. He found out that twenty five percent of the um, of the of the air mass didn't work. That didn't, didn't actually pr- pr- produce oxygen. I don't like that. That's what I'm saying. Like that. That's what I'm saying. He <laughs> ran his own individual test. He said twenty five percent of them didn't um, didn't have any oxygen flowing to them. 
That's, that's fucking what ridiculous. I'm, that's what I'm saying. Now you know what's crazy though. I, but I did find out. I found out that like with airplanes. So like they'll take an airplane, right? They'll build it, and they'll be like, "Yo, this has a, a lifetime uh, mileage." Like they give a certain a limit certain of miles. miles. So they'll be like, miles, "This plane, yes. this plane can fly a million miles." Cool. But with that, they actually only go halfway through that. Yes. Correct. So they'll be like, "Yo, half a million miles. We gotta take this plane apart." Restructure, re rock it, and make another airplane with all the parts or whatever. We're gonna, but they literally damn near melt that bitch down. Like, they're gonna strip that shit completely apart and make a whole other airplane with those parts. And, um, yeah, even with that, like, crazy ass mistake still happen. Like, I, I'll be watching YouTube all day. Don't, I don't know why. Every time I do go on vacation, I start watching YouTube videos about airplane crashes and dumb shit like that. Terrible idea. Don't, I don't suggest that for anybody at home. Don't do that because you will fuck yourself up the night before that flight. But, um, yeah, man. I had to it, make sure I have a Boeing, bro. I got an Airbus. I'm like, nah, yeah. I felt that. Yeah, we're, 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 we're. Actually, we about to go back to the you know, yeah, so I, I, That's the flight I checked. Feel me? Airbus. Listen, listen, shout out Spirit. I, I never, I, yo, bro, I'm never flying Spirit for the, the last three times I've flown Spirit, I've never flying Spirit in my life, but shout out to Spirit. Listen, I'll never be too bougie for Spirit. Spirit, me and you is locked in like this, twin, but I'm not bringing no bags because Spirit is disrespectful. Yo. The flight be $60. Your, yo. your bags be 95 Like, yo, bro, bro what we I, yo, on How my way, bags more expensive all, than my yo, flight? On the way to LA. Literally. On the way to LA, I had to check my bag at the door. Mm -hmm. No, no, for my carry-on. $100. $100. $99. For the carry-on? On for the carry-on. I ain't going to lie. You better than me, gang. I would have got petty on niggas. Like, what? Yeah, he suck my dick. I would have backed out. I was like, yeah, niggas is crazy. I'm backing out Frank Stan. Bro. Suck my dick. Yeah, niggas talking crazy. No, I'm not Bro. doing it. $99 at the gate. We about to board. At and, the gate. And and, uh, and the thing is, my ticket had big. It said, no carry on. Like, they, they tried to violate <laughs> they me. They do that, though. They I do know, that. I tried to finesse. I'm like, oh, yeah, right, I'm about to get this on right now. And you dead didn't, though. Nah, I dead didn't. I dead didn't. <laughs> they stood on business. They said $99. <laughs> they stood on I business. I said 99 what? Smoked your shit. Smoke this <laughs> shit. For a carry on. And I'll never forget Blue that. In 2017, for real, Blue I literally bar. bought a round trip ticket to Miami. This is 2017. Blue I didn't, but at that point, it wasn't like a thing to clown spirit. Now everybody knows you take spirit, it's a school bus, yeah. it's a standing room only. Yeah, like, you, you, you got the cheese bus. Yeah, you got the cheese bus in the air. Cool. I didn't know that in 2017. So literally, my round trip was like $62. And I had to pay like 80 I think it was like $85, $90 there and $90 back for my bag. I was like, this is ridiculous. I'm like, how the fuck did my bags literally cost me three times what my flight cost? But whatever. After that, regardless, me and Spirit, we locked in. We done, we done been through some shit, okay? Because you got to remember, I fly there every month. Not damn near. I basically yeah. fly every month, or if not, I'm paying for a flight every month, guaranteed. Nah, so, me and Spirit locked in. Yeah, bro. Don't you worry about bro, it, twin. Bro, bro, I got your back. Like I said, one. like I said, like I said, smoke mine. I was sitting on that flight. You <laughs> smoked mine. Yeah. Listen, as long as Spirit carry don't on. give round trip flights to Charlotte for $80, we going to be locked in like this. Oh, that's Because I ain't bringing no bags. I ain't bringing no carry. I ain't bringing no shit. You <laughs> know what I mean? We in and out of this bitch. <laughs> fuck, fuck you mean um, But yeah So uh, R.I.P. John Barnett So now they're doing An investigation But Word On another note I really I almost forgot We gotta talk about it I know you see Bro I know you seen bro I know you seen I need your fucking opinion Jake Paul Michael Tyson. Uh, what do you What do you think is going to happen? I want to hear from you because I feel like I feel like you have a lot more sense than the average person I spoke to about this. I think I, I'm Jake, Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. Win. Jake Paul gonna win, bro. Yo, see, this is my Jake guy. Paul this is the fuck I'm talking about because he actually makes fucking sense. <laughs> what, yo, what is making niggas think that a 58 year old man is about to whoop a 27 year old? Like, what the fuck? I, do already, think this is? I, already, I already know it's about that. Yo, bro. Niggas is crazy. I already know. People are like, yo, that's Mike. I'm like, yeah, exactly. That's Mike. Mike that's been hitting his head repeatedly thousands, if not tens of, or hundreds of thousands of times. That's aged old. That's not Mike, dog. They, that's they, not they, Mike. It they, just looked they, like they Mike. Tried, they, they, they tried to uh, to get you with that little promo vid. You notice e each movement was like 0.5 seconds. You feel me? <laughs> each little clip. Bro. Come on. It's beyond come that. On, people are on. so fucking delusional. People seen him hitting the heavy bag, and like, yo, he still got it. I'm like, that shit not punching back. <laughs> the heavy bag don't punch back. Like, what are y'all talking about? That shit look good on camera, gang. But when you getting punched on by a nigga 30 years younger than you, dog, you realize, oh, this nigga's 30 years younger than me. Like yeah. I say, it's like it's like if Michael Jordan at 60 was just like, yo, I'll bust Devin Booker's ass one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Are you fucking crazy? Yeah, you, you your, your knees mind. ain't right. Yeah, nah, it, it, over. It's over. You He's going to have too many steps on you. Like, there's no way you're catching up with him. I should, but sh okay, Mike Tyson. Sure, first two rounds okay, but how many rounds? Like, how bro, many rounds they fighting? You listen, know? listen, he, if that, that shit goes more than three rounds, he's it's dead, over. It's he's over. fucking dead in it's there. Over. He don't even got 
It's over. And people say it's, it's rigged and shit, but I don't think either one of them is down to get rigged because both of them have lost plenty of Well, Jake just lost his last fight to a real fighter, Arturo Gotti. Shout out to John yeah, Gotti's son. Did. Well, I think it's his grandson. Regardless. Right, yeah. He had lost to John, he had lost to Arturo Gotti, but that went the distance. Okay, cool. I seen Mike Tyson. That went the distance in the, I think that was 12 rounds. I seen Mike Tyson and Roy Jones fight four years ago. And that shit looked bad. That, horrible, that was horrible. That shit looked that bad. Like, I'm talking about they was gassed, exhausted by, yeah. the, by the third, fourth yeah, round. Yeah, it, it, it was he comes that. in there like that, and that was four years ago. He's four years older. <laughs> that matters. That fucking Yo, matters. Wait, 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 wait. Time out. Can we, can we say, like... Talk to we, the people. Talk we, to the people. We, you mentioned... We, we'll mention boxing now. Can, like, you realize all the retired boxers, they're a little... They're, yeah, they retarded. All of them. They were told every single one. No disrespect, but they. Oh, every you've been punched in your head repeatedly like every, this no, forever. Every single one. Since, most of them have been doing this shit since they literally like five. Five, yeah. Bro, so every single fifty one, years again, like, punched in your head, gang. I'm, I'm, you, you you're going, you're going to be a little every slow. Single one, every single one. They all can't different. talk funny. Listen, you want to laugh at something? Watch Floyd Mayweather's fathers have an interview about anything. It is the wildest <laughs> shit because he's inaudible, son. I don't understand it's what he's sad, talking about. Bro. Like it's sad. It's sad and Floyd's because, always been shot out. It's sad because, but you see, even people be like, "Yeah, but Floyd's good." First of all, Floyd no, he's not. Never. Floyd's, Floyd's not, not good. good. My son's about to be fifty. Can't read. Floyd's not good. He was never good. Okay, like no matter how you put it, you get beat up for a living. I mean, you 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 go through that kind of physical. You're not gonna be okay. Just because you're walking around you and got money, Oscar Della Hoya. Okay. Oscar's gone. You Oscar, Oscar used to beat up everybody. Roy, now he's walking Roy around Jones with a netted vest on. You Roy say Jones Ali before he retired, uh, before before he Listen, passed away. I was watching every uh, single fighter, what every was single name? boxer, and they face be swollen when they older. It's just a nasty. It's nasty work, bro. Yeah, man. It hurts to watch. I've been watching a lot of them on Vlad, and it's like, whoa, this is hard to watch them talk. Like they're struggling, it, and you can see it, you can feel it. it they're extra slow. Like they they had like I don't know, bro. It, but I know what it is. I do know. It's, it's, Fucking head trauma. It's because people say shit like people be like, oh. Oh, but work, uh, Mayweather didn't really get hit like that in his career. I put it like this. He yeah. still had to train and spar. He Thank still was you. even hitting the face when he was training exactly. and sparring. I'm like, like yo, do you understand? In order to get, yeah, he fought 50 times in his career. And yes, we only seen him really get hit hard, maybe four or five ever. He only hit the ground once. But, but for each 50 for fight, each, right, for each he, fight, he trains he's training 200, 300. two, three times a week, yeah. he's getting punched in the face. Like leading up to that. You have to practice getting punched in the face to be ready to yeah. be punched in the face. You can do all this, but right. if you ain't ready for that out first hit, it, you, it, yeah. guess yeah. what? All your game playing out the window now. All that shit is out the window. Help me, please. Help me, please. <laughs> but I, I say that to say, too, it's like, yeah, people don't realize, like, okay, the average person, think about how many times you've been hit hard in the head to the point where, like, it stunned you, like, yeah, or yeah, you blanked yeah. out, or you wrong, or if you ever been there, you know that white light. Like, you get hit real hard, yeah, yeah, you see that yeah. white light, like, whoa. Yeah, your head start ringing. Yeah, head ringing, everything goes out. Like, if you ever played football, football yeah. and most sports, you done been through some, some similar situation. So if you did that, think about how many times it's ever happened to you. Probably not that many times. Even if you did, like, even if you played, like, Pee Wee and all this, you probably didn't have that happen to you more than 20 times in your life. Like, maybe 30. And I'm talking about you ran to a wall. You might have fell off the stairs. Some bullshit. You, yeah, you, you might, you might, you might have been playing in the street, hit, hit, hit your head they, on the sidewalk. They go through that every round of a fight. Yeah. <laughs> Getting hit like that. They're doing that shit 30 times per three minutes. 40, 50 times in three minutes, they're getting hit like that. Uh, the, the, now, think of a lifetime of that. Your brain is not going to be okay, gang. Adrian Broner, all of them. Adrian Ben, shout out. Ben, shout out. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Adrian all Broner, of them. Ben, Every out. single one. Yeah. Every single one. It's like, yo, yeah. it's sad, man. Mm -hmm. Speaking of sports, you see, you see, you see what's going on with the Steelers? Oh, wait, wait, wait. oh we going to have to talk about the Steelers. So, we're going to take our. Uh, we, I just we, we skip right back. So, Jay Paul, oh, you going Jake. Jake? Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay, cool. Jake I'm, ta I'm, ta I'm, I'm taking Jake with a knockout. I don't think it's going to Oh, yeah, me too. Whatever, me too. whatever amount too. of rounds they got. Listen, listen. Either, either, either is, he's going to get knocked down or a TKO. So, like, I don't think it's going. I think it's, it's not I think, going to distance. And like I said, I don't think it could be rigged because this is also going to be one of the biggest fights ever. I think this might be the biggest fight ever. Because Netflix actually bought the rights to the fight. So everybody who has Netflix has the uh, is going to have viewership of it for free. Well, whatever you're paying for your monthly Netflix. That's but, uh, a whole game changer. Like, they're on some other shit, bro. You got to respect Jake Paul and his brother what they did, bro. They're changing. They're literally changing yeah, the game yeah. of boxing. Yeah, this literally. motherfucker's been boxing for four or five years. He's getting, he's getting, his brother got in the ring with the great, one of the greatest of all time. Yeah. And now he's in the ring with one of the greatest of all time. Yeah. It's insane what yeah, they've been able yeah, to do because yeah. it's like, yo, it's a money grab. It's like, yo. Why not? Like, I, right. I can go fight one of these old motherfuckers and yeah, we can, we can pull in whatever, a couple million viewers. I go fight this white boy. Everybody really thinks. I have a chance of beating him, and a lot of people also think he has a chance of beating me. People really want to know. I generally do want to know. Now, if you ask me, I would love to see Mike Tyson knock him out. 
But if you want me to be real, nah, I don't too. see that shit going past half whatever round. I mean, I half of whatever I, rounds they're they fighting. I, I, I don't I, see it going past I, that. No, I totally agree. He if it's eight listening. rounds, round five, knockout, I'm calling it. 20 was, years ago, I would take Mike. I would take Mike. If Mike was 40, I'm taking Mike Tyson. Say, yeah, if Mike was oh, 40 for sure. I'm Absolutely. taking Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson was still fighting at 40, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, maybe. I think I think he was still he was still going at like 38 for sure. But but you know, 60 year old Mike Tyson, nah. Come man. on, son. No, nah, I, I, 60 year old anybody, I'm not going for it. Like you well, know it depends on who they're fighting. Yeah, right, 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 but I'm saying though, versus Jake Paul, yeah. like who really does this? Like now he really does. Yeah, like yeah, like at first he was play play playing, play, pretending, but now he really does it. Yeah, so. at first they, no, they've been going hard from day one. That's why people had to respect it because they was putting down real people. Because like put it like this, Jake Paul done knocked out Tyron. He really knocked Tyron Woodley out. Tyron Woodley is in his late thirties. He was a real a yeah. UFC MMA champion, not a regular, just a fighter. He's a champion. And uh, um, uh, Nate Robinson. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I think Logan knocked out Nate Robinson. Or was it Jake? No, it was Jake. It was Jake. Oh, okay. I think it was Jake. I think it was Jake. Listen, that I'm, shit. That shit, shit almost started Jake. segregation back. Yeah, over. we so <laughs> We don't want to ever bridge yeah, that shit again. Yeah. Nate, shout out RIP to your boxing career, but shout out to Nate Robinson. Um, yeah, man, I, I'm, 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 I'm excited though, cause I, I, I seen you didn't really like the idea of it being on Netflix. I'm, I think you're not really jacking what's going on. Nah, but I nah. feel like you're gonna watch though. Oh, yeah, watch. I'm tuning in. We're gonna watch, right? Yeah. That's the that's in. the magic that, of what he's doing. Of course. Yeah. Whether you respect it or you don't, you have to watch. We wanna watch. We wanna watch bad. I wanna see this shit. I'm excited, man. It's coming in July. Shout out to Netflix, shout out to Jake Paul, to Mike Tyson, man. We're gonna see some legendary shit. But in other news, uh still did you see what they the yo, NFL, yo, the NFL that was right crazy. Yo, the NFL right here. Yo, oh, this oh, might oh, be the best free agency ever. Oh, it might and be. I, and I'm being biased. Fuck that. You no, feel I, me? It really might. Oh, spe- oh, before before we t- even touch on the Steelers, we, let's talk about free agency. Um, free agency. So it's 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 crazy how. Um, all right, you see, Saquon to the Eagles, nasty work. Oh my god, Saquon to the Eagles, oh nasty, nasty work. But he's averaging six yards to touch. By the way, watch this. But um, it's 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 funny how. Like everybody's calling him Snake Quan, he's a trade or whatever the case may be. Yeah. It's crazy how like we say that for the player, but we never say that for the team. Within the same week, within the same week, um, the Packers signed uh Josh Jacobs, right, and then they cut Aaron Jones, right. But nobody's talking about how the Packers what they did to Aaron Jones. You feel me? Right, right, right. It's always it's always the player that everybody wants to talk about. Yeah, it's the same thing. Uh, in 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 college in college sports or college football to where um, uh, like like let's say a player doesn't want to play in a bowl game because mm-hmm. they're going entering the league. Oh, how can you not do that? Well, when a coach finds a better opportunity and doesn't coach in a bowl game, nobody says anything about the coach. In corporate America, um, when when the only reason why people have a job is because you can't find someone else to do the same job for less. Mm. So there's no loyalty in this. Yeah. So like a corporation could fire you and hire somebody who's a better candidate tomorrow. Nobody bats an eye. But if you a candidate find a better opportunity, it's like oh he ain't say loyal to the he ain't say loyal to his yeah. company. But there is no loyalty in this. But it's just fun, it's just crazy the narrative that we paint based on the players when Saquon's getting forty million. Feel me? Forty six. He's Saquon's getting forty six million. Forty six. You feel million. me? Add that six. And he found matters. a better opportunity. Unfortunately, it was with the ops to to the Giants, the Eagles. But yeah. nobody said anything about the Packers and how they treated Aaron Jones when they bought it. They thought they, they found a better deal in Josh Jacobs. Mm-hmm. I mean, no one said like, oh, my God, the Packers, how can you do this? Where's the loyalty? There's no loyalty well, when it comes to the organizations, but only the players and uh, employees are the ones that are supposed to be loyal. Well, what I do say to that is that it is a little different as far as like because the, when you compare uh, the Aaron Jones getting cut by the Packers and they, they pick it up Josh Jacobs, that's a little different than Saquon going directly to the Ops. He went from the Giants. He went an hour and a half away to Philadelphia, and we're going to see this motherfucker twice a year. It's staticky. I'm going to stop saying we because I'm not a Giants fan, but shout out to the Giants. You know what I'm saying? That's the home team, so respectfully, they, they like my third favorite team. They're the third team I root for. You know what I'm saying? But, but not really. But, um, Aaron fun. Jones ended up, ended up signing with the Vikings, which is which is the opposite of Green Bay. Yeah, They're respectfully, like word, as but, he should. But 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 regardless, even even if um what's his name was on the Vikings and uh, if Josh Jacobs was on the Vikings and then he went to the Packers, nobody would say anything about the Packers what they did to, to Aaron Jones. Regardless, nah, yeah, of the situation. Sure. But yeah. it's it's just it's the narrative that we the narrative that we paint to we're supposed to be the the players and the employees are the ones that's supposed to be loyal. Mm-hmm. But when it comes mm-hmm. to these organizations with billions of dollars, nobody cares when they can do anything for the best interests of the corporation. Bro, if you want to talk about nobody cares, listen. I, I, I just posted this on my Instagram the other day. 
NFL running back is the most disrespected position oh, in all of sports. Not even close. And I think in all of sports, you know what not, I'm saying? Not and close. shout out to the women's sports because they I feel like they're highly disrespected in the way they pay. But just I'm going relative to how how important they are to the sport, to the teams, to these franchises, to the NFL. Saquon is a face of the league. Like but, Christian yeah. McCaffrey is the face of the league. Like they're t- when you talk about the NFL, they're in that top five, top ten, most important, most 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 marketed. Influ- yes, they, they're that. You know what I'm saying? These are like th- these are them guys. So like Derrick Henry was everything in, in, t- bro, in Tennessee. Bro, this is what I'm saying. So it's like, boom. When when you look at the way that they get paid and the way they, they're they're being mistreated pay wise, it's fucking ridiculous. Uh, it's because, highway robbery, bro. It, it, it's beyond robbery. It's just disrespectful. It's just disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, listen, you got Saquon Barkley. He's been getting franchise tag. They been giving him 10 11 million dollars whatever the franchise tag has been for the last two years for nfl running backs you talking about talent and they're they're, they're not they're refusing to give him the 15 he was looking for he's my, looking for a little 15 my, 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 and, and and for people that don't realize so if so let, let, let me let, let me let me break it down let me break it down how how contracts work so let's say you get drafted or or whatever the case may be right your first your first contract your rookie contract is four years first contract is four years right and then after those four years your organization has a chance to pick up what they call your fifth year option. So if they pick up your fifth year option, now you play that fifth year and now you have a new con now, now you're up for a new contract after that year. So um, each position in the NFL, it's called a franchise tag. It's a one year deal with a fixed salary. This is the way so you can still play for the organization, but they don't have to commit to you long term. Yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So I just wanted to for some context there. Yeah, no, so you got people like Saquon Barkley, right? Who's clearly the face of the New York Giants. They're str- they, they're refusing to pay him what he wants long term, and the reason why is what you were just saying. They don't want to pick up your long term option because you're an injury risk, especially when you play something like running back, where like the average, the average lifespan of a running back uh, NFL career wise is from 21 to about 27, 28. After that, they're discarded as like as if they're too you're, old. If, if you're a 30 year old running back, you, you oh, if you're, you're 30, a dinosaur. You, you already retired two years ago because the league retired you two years ago because they considered you too fucking old. So. It's like you got Saquon Buckley, $10, $11 million. He's trying to get 15 but they refuse to give it to him. Cool. But then what they do is they turn around and give Daniel Jones, who's clearly a bottom of the barrel quarterback. If you're talking about 32 NFL quarterbacks, he's clearly in that bottom third percent. Clearly. There's no argument about it. There's no way you're going to tell me. That I can name you 15 to 20 people that are better than him, respectfully. Like, he's garbage. For him to get $40 million, four times what Saquon is getting, when he's obviously, Saquon is clearly the reason y'all been winning. He's the only reason you've been relevant when y'all did win last year, because this year, the year that just passed, they were ass. But the year before that, they had did a little, they had did their little thing or whatever, and then the they playoffs. got like 10, 11 games uh, off. It was all because of Saquon. He damn near had 2,000 all purpose scrimmage yards, and like I said, they're not trying to pay him. And then you try to say he's too old because he's 27, and it's like, whoa. What do you mean I'm too old when I'm 27? Like, it, 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 it's, it's mind blowing because you got Derrick Henry, for example. Derrick Henry, big, he was clearly the face of the Tennessee Titans. He can't get fucking, he couldn't get 12, he couldn't get more, I think it was uh, 15 million. I think he was getting like 12 over there or 14. And now he's only getting 8 million a year. And I'm like, yo, you're talking about a position also that touches the ball 300 t- plus times a, uh, a season. Yeah, yeah. 300 times a season for, for perspective, a wide receiver, a great receiver gets maybe 100 catches in a year. Might get 80 to 100, 120 if you're elite. You know what I'm saying? You get 100, let's call it 100 catches. That's a third of what a running back gets. Now you look at all these upper echelon wide receivers that get 100 type, uh, the, the, the type that get 100 receptions, bro, they're all getting 20 million plus. And, and, and you all getting 20 million they're, plus. They're, they're not in the trenches. So even when they get hit, they ain't getting exactly. hit by the big boys. Hey, that's where I was about to go next. Right. So you got these wide receivers that play on the sides and no, no disrespect to the receivers. That was the position I loved when I was a kid. So I'm just saying, they touch the ball 100 times. They're getting hit by people that's about their size. The corners about their size. Safeties are about their size. Same size. These running backs are running full speed into men that are clearly 100 pounds every than them. Yeah, literally. They're three, running full speed 300. into a 300 pound lineman who's coming directly at them, not chasing them. They're running into them. And it's like yo, the kind of the the, the wear the, the wear and tear on that body that a running back's taking to also be getting paid. Half, if not a third of what a receiver gets, a quarter of what the quarterback's getting. But I'm the biggest, best player on the team. It don't make no fucking sense. And they running need to backs, restructure that. Get that run, shit right. Running backs are never getting the big contract mm-hmm. because let, let's let's walk back, walk back what I was talking about. Mm-hmm. So your first contract is for four years, right? Right. And then it's your fifth year option. That's you're already five years into the league, yeah. and that's the time where a lot of 
players get their first big contract. Yeah. Outside of their rookie year deal, right. which is just their rookie year deal. That's mm-hmm. when you get your first big contract. And then, but, but like, instead hold, of do, uh, go ahead. No, I was gonna say, but do the math on what you're saying. You come out of college, 21, 22, four years in, you're 26. By the next year, they're gonna tell you you're gonna be 27. We'll give you this fifth year option. We'll give you this franchise tag. But now, when it's time 27, they don't want to commit to you long term because that, you're, you're, you're a 27 year old running back. We don't want to commit to you till you're 32. Right. But um, so now you, you're 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 your fifth year option. Huh? We don't want to pay you long term. So here's the franchise tag. They can tag you again. Yeah. They so now twice. I think they could do it after twice. Yes. So now you're six years into the league and you still didn't get your big fir- first big contract. You think you're a six six year vet running back? Who's who's been carried the ball three hundred times a year? You think you' about to get a, a four or five year mega million dollar extension now? No, yeah. running backs don't even get the big contract that that big contract that everyone's looking for. Yeah, and then when I think about like all right, so boom, you got people like Kirk Cousins for example. You know what I'm saying? Kirk Cousins just went over to the Atlanta Falcons and got one hundred eighty oh, million dollars yeah. for four years, yeah, right? Yeah, one hundred eighty million dollars for that's forty five million dollars a year. I, I believe one hundred million is guaranteed. Yeah. Now what that means for people who don't know what one hundred million dollars guaranteed means, it means that in them four seasons. If anything happens to this motherfucker, anything, he twists some shit, breaks some shit, they deem that he ain't even good enough to play no more, they owe him $100 million. Yeah. All, all 25 correct. million a year for these next four years, guaranteed. No matter what happens, he no could beat his happens. baby mother up, <laughs> get cut from the team, it don't matter. $100 million. Now you got a running back like Saquon Barkley. See, he, he, what he got was a, was a relatively good, a great deal for a running back. He got $46 million for three years, about, about 16 a year. He got like 46 point something. It's like 16 a year. Um, if I'm not mistaken, like, yeah, a little bit over 15 a year, and um, his guarantee is like 26. He got a 26 million dollars guaranteed, a little over made eight million dollars a year, in case anything happens. You know what I'm saying? Which is what the what, what the Giants are trying to avoid. Because see, when they give you that that <laughs> one year franchise tag for 10 million dollars, if something goes wrong, they only owe you that 10 million dollars exactly. to get up out of here. You and, know what I'm saying? And, and that's the protection of the franchise. Exactly, because they're scared. Because now they guarantee you 26 million dollars as a running back. You tear that ACL. You're no longer deemed gonna. You, you don't, they say you're not coming back the same player. Well, guess what? Now they down twenty six million instead of the ten million they would have just owed you. So, so that's the that's the fucking that's so, the fuckery that they're playing. But the fuckery that they're playing is what they're playing with the longevity. These young men's lives who are literally putting their health, their their entire life lives are in your hands. Like so. So now when so when you're on the franchise tag, you have no security. None. You get paid great one that season. one year, but guess what? You might what? never be in the NFL you get, again after that. You, you get, get hurt, hurt, it's like, ah, that's why we didn't pay you that day. Exactly. Ah, now you want to come back to the table the next year. Yeah. You ha- your, your, your bargaining power just went down. Yeah, man. It's, it's a um, fucked up situation, man, because I've seen so many, dis- so, many, so many of them get disrespected, man, because they're about to have to pay Brock Purdy upwards of $35 million. I was about to say. And Christian McCaffrey, I believe, is getting 16 right now. It's like, yo, bro, I'm not going for that. I'm not going for that. I'm Christian McCaffrey. I'm six, seven years in. I've proven myself every every year. I'm I'm damn near just as valuable as a receiver as I am a running back. I'm one of the I'm one of three to only I'm one of the only three to ever have a thousand rushing and a thousand receiving yards in the season. Year. It's me and only two other motherfuckers, Marshall Falk and um some uh wasn't Marcus Allen, what was son Roger Craig from the 49ers. Um it's like, bro, I'm a legend in my own right. Like I I I'm if you're gonna pay this receiver to get a if this receiver is getting 25, 30 million dollars to get 1,200 receiving yards, and I'm a running back. I got 1,200 receive, uh, rushing yards and another thousand rushing. How am I not getting the receiver money plus the running back money? Fuck that. That's how I would be coming. I need both of these checks. I need, I need my 16 million as a running back, and I need another at least 16 as a, as a receiver. At least give me 32. How can't I? But you're going to give Tyreek Hill $30 million. You're going to give Devontae Adams $30 million. And they're going to touch the ball, like I said. Oh. And, and Christian McCaffrey is a hell of a example because he gets 400 touches this season. He's like, he come does. on, bro. It's disrespectful. Oh, oh it's disrespectful. yo, did you hear Trayvon Diggs? What did Trayvon Diggs do? Um, Trayvon Diggs is having a kid. Okay. What, what, what they got to do with it? For, so, Trayvon, Tray, Trayvon Diggs is dating. The woman he's dating... Has Her, four other kids by NFL players already? Because that's he like no, a thing. He has, she, she has two other kids. One yeah. with Bow Wow, one with Future. Yeah. Oh, Joy. Oh, I know you're talking about Joy yes. something. I know exactly so what you're talking about. So now, but. Damn, yo, yo, shout out to her. Shout out to fucking her. That's yeah. what the fuck I'm talking she, about. She, she, she's 25. Back. He's 30. Uh, no, he's, he's she's 25. 25. No, he's 25. She's 35. Yeah. She's 35. Shout out, listen, oh, we didn't even get to talk about Jerry Mitchell. We're going to get into that in but, a second. Um, <laughs> but, um, but what I'm saying is, so. Yeah, go get that and bag, he already Joy. has. Three other kids with three other women. That pussy. So <laughs> that shit fuck. Bro, gotta listen, be. So to, to combine, there's seven children with seven different parents. 
Yeah, bro, we fucking up America. We nah, fucking up the bro, world right like, now, son. It's really, irresponsible. Yo. It's and, irresponsible. And then when you look at one of, one of the fathers, future, he already has uh, six other kids. Yes, six. I think he's on like nine. <laughs> but like, <laughs> bro, like, yeah, son, this shit is out of pocket. It's out of, and it's it's so, it's so like between them, there's there's seven different parents, with seven different kids. Yeah, respectfully. And future is one of those parents who has a whole horde of his own. Yeah, and that's not kids. even including the up, but like. Do you see the type of world we live in? Like, you can't build no wealth with that, bro. You can't do much with that. You but can't build no wealth with what that. What I can you can't, say yo. is that Shorty is collecting that back, yo. I know, I know the monthlies is hitting. Oh, my God. Are you shitting me? Yeah. Bro, you gotta understand. <laughs> it's one thing to have Bow Wow baby father. Cool. That's cool. Future has your baby father. Cool. He got some money. You NFL money different. I'm trying to tell you. I was explaining shit the other day. I was I was talking to uh, I was talking uh, I was talking to somebody. I was like, yo, people don't understand like artist money and and, and athlete money is two, two different, different worlds. Monies. Like <laughs> I'm different like money. people don't understand. Chris Brown, whatever his net worth is, Jason Tatum makes that every season. <laughs> like it's a different ballgame. Like what? What's Chris Brown's net worth? We gonna I'm gonna say like eighty. Fifty million. Jason Tatum literally makes that every year in the NBA, just from the NBA, not outside that, deals, not a Nike kind, not a did nothing. I'm not talking about Gatorade. Nobody else paying him. Yeah. Just the NBA pays him what Chris Brown worked his entire life for. He's a legend. He's one of the greatest artists ever. Literally. And literally, is a motherfucker on the court that ain't even the best player in the na- in the league. He's making fifty million dollars a season. That's just to put it into perspective, y'all. So what? shout out to Joy. She knows what the fuck she's doing. Shout out to Trayvon Day. He just got his position taken by a third string, who just became an All Pro. Shout out to the Cowboys though. They drafted it's crazy. We're gonna talk about that later, but anyway. But um, but nah, it's just a sad <laughs> situation, bro. Yeah, nah, it's a fucked up I, situation, yeah. but we can't get away from the sports because yes, that's a fucked up situation. No, 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 but no, no, but, but, no, I, but I do. We didn't even get to talk about the fact that the Steelers might have pulled up the craziest oh, free great. agency moves that oh, we've ever the seen ever. Greatest, the, 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 the combined, the, this is the two greatest um value picks for quarterbacks of all time. Absolutely, bro. absolutely. The so, Pittsburgh Steelers the will rise again. Okay, so um. And part of me, y'all, I know we've been going on this uh, sports tantrum, but listen, we got to catch y'all up because there's been a lot going so, on. So, so, um, plus we still as fans. So the the real. Broncos, the Denver Broncos, um, paid Russell Wilson, um, forty forty million, forty eight million a year. No, forty eight, some forty million a year. Let's say forty million a year. Thirty eight million, forty million a year. Um, and they, you remember we were talking about guaranteed money? <laughs> yeah, got that guaranteed. So the Broncos cut him. They cut so him with, now, a, with, a, with a year left on his contract. With a year left on his contract. That they have to pay him, even 30, if he sits at home. Yes. Yeah, so he has he to be at the crib making they $40 have to million pay him dollars a year. $40 million this, year. this year. So the Steelers got him on what they call the vet minimum, which is $1.2 million. Yes. So the Steelers are paying him $1.2 million while he's still getting paid $40 million from the Broncos. Yes. Because that is his value. His value is $40 million yes. a year. So respectfully, he is getting his forty, but but the Broncos paying that $38, exactly. that $38 million and still is just paying $1.4. So the fact that they got um, a borderline Hall of Fame quarterback for one point two million dollars a year value pick, unbelievable. And then we got to talk about Justin Fields, right? So um, Justin Fields is a, is is a young quarterback, might have not been in the right situation, a lot of upside, a lot of potential. Uh, basically, they got him for um, for free, six, uh, yeah, basically for, <laughs> for free, a six round. Pick that can move up to a fourth round pick next year, not even this year. Yeah. So if he plays fifty one percent of the snaps, it goes up to a fourth round pick. But like, bro, they just got both of them for nothing. For nothing. They're, for pay, they're paying under three million dollars for both of them. <laughs> they're paying under three. No, so, under four. Under four million dollars. So you want to talk about this. the value pick? Is it, it, it's unbelievable? Because guess what? Um, you talk about a guarantee money. Uh, Russell Wilson still getting paid from Denver this year. Forty. That forty million. Stay, hey. That forty million cap is hey, still listen, here from man, Denver. Listen. The the Pittsburgh Steelers went to the playoffs. We won ten games. We went ten and seven this year with thirteen passing touchdowns. <laughs> I don't Listen, think y'all understand I don't know what, y'all that know what that means, but that's fucking horrible. That's one. Of, that's that's probably what, we were the worst. No, no, no. We we were this uh, this offense this year was historically bad. Historically bad. So I say that to say. Russell, 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 Russell had 26 passes. Touchdowns. Exactly. He had double. If we can just get something like that, imagine yeah. how many more games we can win. There's no way we don't win at least 11, 12, oh, maybe yeah, 13. Yeah. So, I say that to say, listen, it's looking up. It's upside. Shout out to the Pittsburgh Steelers because I've been popping my shit for the last three years. Like, yo, I'm good. I'm not going to mention them until we get a quarterback. Once we get a quarterback, it's back active. I start popping my shit. It's back active. Yo, I can't wait. Yo. Right. Give us till August. Listen, listen. I can't listen. wait. I can't Give wait till August. To the, to the schedule come out. Feel me? I gotta see what game you're going but to. But while, while we was on the topic of, uh, of of motherfuckers just wilding and having kids everywhere, listen, I want to say shout out to Dre Mitchell. Okay, Dre Mitchell. If y'all don't know, baddie, just beautiful fucking forty year old woman. Listen to me. 
So she goes out and oh, she yeah. gets it because it, it was it was rumored and we had touched on this a couple months back. It was yeah. rumored that she was pregnant by Jalen Green, a uh, 22 year old uh, uh, basketball star from U- he plays for the Houston Rockets. Um, it was rumored that she was pregnant by him, and now it's been confirmed. Draylen Mitchell is pregnant by Jalen Green, and I want to say shout out to both of them. Why? Because Jalen Green, grown ass man, you want to make decisions, you want to get you want to get bitches pregnant that's been around the whole NBA. By all means, do you, Pimpin? I am not mad at you, but but. Keep your heart, three stacks. Keep your heart. Yeah. <sighs> Switch your smart, three stacks. Play your part. Okay? Outcast said that in 2006. Don't ever forget it. Shit's about to get real. Like, Shit's about to hit the like, fan. I, I feel bad for my son, but it's going to be a learning experience. You're going to learn some shit. This is what happens when you get $300 million, gang. No, you got to slow no, the fuck no, down. No, 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 no. These bitches I feel, are I feel, smart. No, I feel These like... These bitches are smart. I feel like you can tell, like... You can you can tell when, 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 when there's a type of person who might have... Once they they don't know how to act once they get the money, whatever the case. Like you can tell that they might have been a type of person, um, and then what, uh, once they get this type of fame and popularity, mm-hmm. like they don't know how to act. You know what I mean? Like Zion, like Zion, Zion. I was about to say like Zion. <laughs> Zion with like, the prostitute, uh, the porn star, prostitute, porn star, oh, yeah, whatever. Nah, he was, nah, nah, Zion was out here wilding. But, nah, you but see, I, 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 I really want to know. Beefy, what, what, <laughs> yeah, that was, shit was crazy. I, I respectfully, I, I feel you, Zion. I know what you was nah, going through. Nah, no, Zion was out I, here. What I need I, to know I, that, is, that man was you, expeditiously you, horny. Because listen, the big, the big discrep- the big problem is that everybody's making a deal out of is the, the fact age. that Dre's son is Jalen Green's age. Yes. So I want to know, what do you think? Do you think that it's grooming? Do you think it's wrong? Do you think it's predatory? Do you think? Do you think any? Or do you just think fuck it? You know, if you want to get a bitch forty years pregnant, you know what I'm saying? By all means, what what do you think? I think, <clears throat> I think it's a situation where um, it, it's it's definitely more calculated on her end. Um, sure. And he and he, I think he's it was a situation. I think he was a situation. He's happy to be here. Feel me? <laughs> type of yeah. type of thing. Um, yeah, he grew and, up his whole life looking and at him. Yeah, uh, at the end of the day, he is a young adult. But like twenty two, almost half. There's no age. like like when you hear like I don't I don't know this man upbringing nothing. But there's no way he had guidance. You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? Like it's not my even, yeah. My pops would have smacked that's the what, fire. You, out you, of you, you feel what I'm saying? Like um. Like I said, I don't know this man's upbringing. If you know, um, shout out to him, shout out to the baby, whatever the case yeah. may be. But there's no way he had a a proper upbringing in, in order I, to, to get into a situation. You like know that. what I say too? It's like especially with those uh, basketball too, especially with basketball. Like when you're that good of an athlete, your whole come up in life. By the time you're like 12, you get put under this wing. We're like, you're super coddled and protected from the world, dog. That's Everybody what knows, yo, stay away from him. He got a future. So in the hood, motherfuckers don't want to fuck with you. They don't want you to get yeah. involved. Yeah, the parents make sure you and basketball is one of them sports you play all year round. You travel. You don't even see your friends if you're nice at if you're nice at basketball, you don't see him. No, you've been on tour since you're twelve. All year round. If you're nice at basketball, you've been on tour since you was twelve. All your friends are basketball players. Exactly. All, all your friends are basketball players. That's the only world you know. Yeah. You don't know shit outside of that. You don't know about clubs. You don't know nothing about none of that. You talking about a twenty two year old. Like he's really young still. Like even that's if he wasn't a basketball player, he still would just be learning all this shit for real. He just be getting to Miami for the first time and all that good shit. You know what I mean? So it's like, I feel like it, it, it's like I don't, I, I don't want to call her a predator because he's twenty two, but like she was calculated. Dogs, but but you, you know this is a child, dog. Like what the fuck do y'all be talking about? I want to know what the fuck does forty year old Dre Mitchell talk to twenty two year old Jalen Green, a motherfucker that just became a a gajillionaire in the last two years. But you, but you like, can, what what can they possibly be talking about? But you can Fortnite? tell, like, like you brought up Zion, Zion. You can tell Zion, you Zion ain't have no hoes, nigga. You can tell. <laughs> yeah, you, you see feel that, me? That's the thing. Jalen for sure had hoes. Yeah, My yeah, son yeah. Jalen for sure had hoes. But like, bitches, go Google, uh, ladies, go Google uh, Jalen Green. That you you understand but, what's going uh, on. But like, there's no way he had any guidance. You feel me? And it's it's just it's just this is this is a crazy situation like, that he got himself in. If he's happy, but uh, hey. Shout out to him. Shout out to the baby. But speaking of babies, did you hear, did you hear about Tyreek Hill? Speaking of, we were talking about NFL. You hear about Tyreek Hill? What, what well, he had, well, well, he had three did, bitches pregnant. Oh, he, he had three girls pregnant and about to get married to one. Oh, no, four Ken, no, no he's, he's, I think he's married to Kenny Vaccaro's sister. Yeah. But, but, Shout what, out to my son no, Tyreek. No, did, right? did you hear what happened just just now? Uh, over, uh, something where uh, apparently he he um, he smashed an unlit cigar on, on her face. He what? Smashed an unlit cigar on her face. Which try, he was trying to get her to sign a post-nup agreement. But a she, post-nup? Yes, instead of a prenup. They're already married. Oh, post-nuptial. Yes. To the woman he married? Yeah, Kenny, yeah. He burnt her in the face with no, a cigarette? No, it was unlit. It was unlit. He smashed it. Allegedly, he smashed it on her face. I'm lost. And now what? Is he going to jail? Uh, I think he uh, I think he might be indicted, I think. But uh, yeah, we were talking about NFL, and he, he having all these babies, and Tyreek Hill, and he's a big name He's right been now. married for but he's three wild. months. 
Yeah, you know <laughs> Tyreek Hill been wilding though. Um, but man. yeah, it's, it's time. Um, thank you guys. Uh, you know, it's time to wrap it up and everything. Oh, yeah, uh, we yeah, can keep going on this tangent. We appreciate y'all, everybody. Yeah, we appreciate in. y'all for real. Um, it's been a great episode of Free Gents Podcast, man. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all, y'all. and uh, and I'm gonna pray for the future of us. You feel me? Seven seven <laughs> children, seven different. Uh, uh, parents, yeah, this shit's going bad, son. And we're making it more and more normal. You know what I'm saying? It, it is what it is. That's, but listen, it's, it's been a free dance podcast. It's not is what it is. Fuck that. <laughs> fuck that is what it is. No. I'm not right. trying. No, fuck that. Like, nah. He's right. But at the same time, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate we y'all. go. We out of here. <laughs>